Hi everybody, this is Nancy Miller from Nancy Miller Illustration. So I wanted to share a website that I just recently came across and this is called Tyrus, okay? Um, Tyrus is actually a um, free digital tool kit that Airbnb has designed. They use a lot of illustration in their um, advertising and campaigns and so they wanted to create something that was specific to freelance illustrator. So I wanted to go over the website a little bit. I think it's really cool. And if you want to find it and check it out for yourself, here up at the top, it's tyrus.design. Okay, so where did they get the name of Tyrus? Okay, if anybody's a big fan of animation, especially the movie Bambi by Disney, um, the actual creator for the look and the visual development of Bambi was Tyrus Wong. Tyrus Wong is, was an an artist that immigrated from China to the United States. Um, this was, oh man, I can't even remember when Bambi was around, but it was a long time ago. And when he came to the States, he really struggled to be an artist. He ended up getting, you know, work in the animation and movie industry, but it was really, um, just a fascinating story about how um, when Disney started going through um, a lot of their strikes and things like that, um, he was one of the people that was first let go. And if you ever like Google Tyrus Wong and the word Bambi, you're going to see some of the beautiful pastels that he created. I mean, they're just so iconic of the mood and the feel. Like he really helped create that look and feel for uh, the animation. Okay, so back to Tyrus, the website. So why do I like this so much is if maybe you're not working with a huge client like Airbnb because Airbnb obviously is used to working with illustrators but if you have smaller clients and they really don't understand the process and this is what I've found I would love to have clients as big as Airbnb I have not been so fortunate but most of the smaller clients that you work with they just don't know or understand how the process is supposed to work so if you give them a link to this and you kind of talk them through this is how we're going to create an image that's specific to your needs and your wants and this will give you a roadmap for both of you to kind of follow through so you can scroll down and it'll talk more through you know how they surveyed illustrators to figure out like what were some of the pain points and it was having that better communication between themselves and the client so they'll have you know these sections like the first part is your brief okay so your brief um, if you don't know it's basically what are the clients wants and needs so like say I tend to work in children's books um, Mainly, I never really got a written brief because I work with small publishers, so they would just kind of verbally tell me, like, okay, here is the story, we're looking for these kind of images. Um, I've heard that sometimes in a brief, they might include images of things that they, of other, you know, types of illustrations, your illustrations of things that they like, um, just kind of maybe outlining the direction that they want to go in. So, like, you can click at the top here. And I'll let you go to, my internet's a little bit slow, but, so identifying your client's needs. I mean, it just bullet points the things that you're going to be doing, you know, and it'll walk you right through this. This is great. So you can do your warm-ups and, you know, talk about these five key points below. So you can start your project, you know, like, understand the big picture, get a clear idea on the, you know, copy, you know, where will the art be, become an expert. So anyways, I thought this was very helpful, you know, so mainly because it's going to help you and your client figure out how, you know, your expectations, and it even breaks it down further. I mean, this is awesome. They go through all of this, you know. So that'll help you kind of figure out what you're supposed to be illust illustrating. And then you can go to the next phase. And so I think this is just a really great way for clients to understand what you're, what you're doing for them and what they should expect, you know, just kind of a, an outline. I think that's one of the big things that I experience because I tend to work with smaller customers or clients and they just may have never worked with an illustrator. They or they work with illustrators infrequently, 
and those are the ones that are probably going to be a little bit more challenging to figure out what they want because they don't really know how to utilize um, you. So anyways, it was the same for graphic design. I think this would have also worked if you're a graphic designer as well. But they go about deadlines. You know, so that's really important because you want to know when you're going to be needing to turn things in, when you're going to get feedback, you know, when do you have to deliver the final. So, and these are also things that you want to build into your contract. Like I'm, this is, you know, these are the things I'm thinking about as I walk through this, you know, this also tells you like, these are things that I would probably want to write out in my contract. Feedback. So great thing about the feedback section is they had like, what if your client, you know, you're just not sure what they're trying to, you know, get at and what are they trying to, you know, get you to do and make changes. So I thought this was interesting. So like, what if they're vague? What if it's conflicting? What if it's near minded out of scope? You know, so, you know, it happens in illustration where you might not always have the clearest direction. So this gives you questions you can ask in, in return so that you can get a much more clear idea from the client. But anyways, um, I think it's a great website. I highly recommend you check it out. It's called Tyrus.Design. It was um, created by Airbnb. And I think this is awesome. Yeah, definitely utilize this. Um, because I like that it's on the web. You know, I have books as well. But this is definitely something I would um, bookmark, save, and go back to. And then be like, oh, you know, with my client, this is kind of what you can expect. This is kind of a vision, you know, a visual layout of the direction and order you would go in um, working with a freelance illustrator. So thanks for listening. Um, please hit the like and subscribe um, to get more uh, notifications on when I have some helpful tips and illustration videos. Thanks for listening. Bye.